We're going to talk about ACT reading, a social science passage entitled Model Behavior. You'll recall that all ACT reading questions fall into two big categories, inference, reference. The social science is tends towards the uh, reference side. My experience with social science is also these passages often prevent, present challenging questions that are scattered throughout the text. So you want to have a strategy you use to approach the passage. You can read and answer, which is by far the best strategy if you have time. If not, you're going to Google summary and answer, which means you're going to go a little faster than you're comfortable, perhaps, um, and summarizing in one to three words what you read. Uh, or um, you're going to do that as a way to also recall what you read and mapping and answering, which is a strategy that often works on social science, um, which means you're going to read topic sentences and target sentences. So this is the passage we're doing, model behavior. Um, make sure, hopefully, you have a copy of it. And we're going to go through and talk about how we should approach it. If you haven't read it yet, go ahead and, and read it uh, before we start discussing. Time yourself to see how long it takes you to read. Hopefully, you can finish reading the entire passage if you're going to try to read an answer in under 30, uh, I mean, <laughs> under three and a half minutes. Um, if you're going, going to Google summary, um, you still want to be fairly quick, right? Well, I Google summary in mind as, as well as read. And I can, you can see I've got uh, CG crowds, unusual, independent CG, CG standing for computer generated, uh, brain, commuters, uh, crowds, privacy, ruins, ships, and positive future. Um, and so that's, that's where I went with mine. So, all right, first question, number 11. The main idea of the passage is, we're going to answer this question last because it's a main idea question. So you want to come back to those after you've spent more time exploring. Screen number 12. In the passage, the author's attitude toward computer-generated simulations can best be described as. It's actually a pretty decent question to answer, easy question if you understood the passage. We're going to pull out two pieces of text here. Uh, it turns out it's just what it needs is needed to predict how crowds of humans move around inside buildings um, as an as agent software becomes better able to capture complex real world behavior other uses for it can emerge indeed it could be a crowded field he's really kind of optimistic right it's going to be used in the future so g optimistic about potential uses there's no fear no boastfulness no skepticism so a pretty easy question to process of eliminate Number 13, which of the following best describes the organization of the passage? So we go from one idea to the next, uh, just one idea following another idea. So it's just going to be examples uh, and generalization, generalizations followed by more examples. It's not a problem, right? Not a problem solution. It's not just chronological order and it's definitely no refusion. So uh, it's, again, process of elimination would get the answer to this question. Probably a pretty easy question for most. 14, which of the following questions is directly answered in the passage? This is where social science passages become kind of tricky. They're going to give you a lot of questions like this. Which of the following is answered? Which of the following is not answered? Um, so this one you can find, right? It's actually decently uh, easy to find. So what behaviors can't be modeled by computers? I don't think that's in there. What's the intended use of the software developed by massive software we know where to find that and that was here right and the intended use is to model ship behavior right so that was answered around line 70. so that one's pretty easy uh, we don't know how research gives researchers give a brain that was paragraph four i actually wondered that as i was reading like how do they do that um and how do they decide which characteristics and actions to include in their software h and j are actually so similar that they would probably be easy to eliminate the two of them together so there can't be two correct answers. The main purpose of the seventh paragraphs, so we're looking here again. So we just spent some time with that question, hopefully, if we got it right. Uh, is it to illustrate the dangers of predicting crowd behavior? Probably not. Summarize Hong Kong's lengthy use of computer simulations. Um, no. A contrast, BMT, Asia Pacific software, no. They're really just talking about how this can be used to represent um, non-human activities. So D, inanimate objects would be non-human. 
According to the passage, the director of Lord of the Rings trilogy owes thanks to which the following. So according to the passage means it's there. You just have to find it. It might be worded slightly differently, but we see that here. So Peter Jackson largely has Stephen Regulus to think. So H, Stephen Regulus. I guess that's how you say his name. All right, the passage indicates that in relation to Terzopoulos work and computer generated simulations, massive software's work is. This one's just a little bit tricky about how it's worded. Um, so the passage indicates uh, we find that where they first talk about Dr. Uh, Terzopoulos uh, around line uh, 38. And it says, taking a similar approach is Dr. Terzopoulos. So he's taking a similar approach to massive software. So similar in approach, right? And that was just a, they talk about massive software. And since Dr. Dimitri takes a similar approach, it's going to be the same. 18, the passage indicates that T accounted for which the following situations in his study of commuter behavior. So we know it's going to be in this paragraph. And if you read that paragraph, you say, see he accounts for a commuter who is running late. By contrast, he may try to push his way to the front of the ticket line. So a commuter running late. So that one's straight up in the passage, just finding it. According to the passage, using computer simulations instead of cameras to study behavior is preferable due to concerns about. Again, this one's in the passage. And I actually uh, Google summaried it with privacy. And it says using real cameras for research would raise privacy concerns. So A, and number 20 in lines 85 to 86, the phrase a crowded field most nearly refers to, okay, this soon could become a crowded field. He's talking about all the different researchers that develop. So F, the research and development of software to simulate real world solutions. And our last one, we're going back to the main idea passage, right? What is the main idea? Using computer A, using computer generated simulations in movies, it's not just about movies, it's about a lot more. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, that's not the main idea. Choice C, computer generated simulations can be applied to predict behavior in a number of situations. Yeah, that's what it really talks about. The last one, it has just that one scientist, it's about more. So that's probably a fairly easy question after going through all of the questions. So depending on when you take this passage, right, you probably want to you want to group your passages together, your inference and reference passages. You're either for some students, you're going to kill this passage, and not do it at all. You're not even going to attempt it. But if you do, if you're trying to do all four, I generally recommend for a lot of students to do passage one, three, two, then four. Um, so you're still going to have one more passage after this. Some will say this passage is the last, knowing it can often be a tricky passage. And put it last, knowing it forth. They have to skip up if they're running short on time. Skip the one that's often uh, has some tricky questions in it. And tricky is relative. They're not always the hardest. But my experience is that students seem to struggle more with social science than any of the other passages somehow. So figure out your strategy. Figure out what works best for you. The only way to do that is practice, practice, practice. And let me know if you have any questions.